Hey there everyone, this is Alcal, and this is gonna be King Charles' Castle Cleanup Episode A, where we're gonna be going through one path, uh, basically taking one door from the first part, one door from the last part, and we're just gonna be playing it through. However, I am going to use save state to simulate as if I had quick restart. Basically how I believe the game would have been done had it had been like completely remade uh, uh, with modern sensitivities in mind. Uh, so when I won, I always went there. This door doesn't do anything. But I did try this door a lot. So today, see, look at that. Poof, right here. Quick restart zone. So we're gonna be doing this door here, and that leads to down the boo zone, and then you know we're gonna see, and then we're gonna see, and then we're gonna find out somewhere in the world there is a lot of clouds. So this is all non canon. Uh, the demo will reset uh, at the end of each of these sessions, and that is fine. Uh, there we go, I did that bad. I exploited the fact that I had a cape. Make this a little bit easier on myself, but hey, you know what? I am not above uh, using things to make things easier. If you see there, you get punished by the blue switch, but here you immediately get rewarded for it. Uh, getting mixed messages here. I could have thwacked that and gone an extra one. So you see, see, whoa. In between two worlds, uh, that's when the thing restarts. All right, so, boom. I did get some ways inside of this thing, but it's very long. <laughs> Um, so, and I always just kind of ran out of fume, because that's kind of, it's, it's a wizard, it's always a wizard. If you're having trouble with your mind, there's a wizard around, then don't ask yourself why. Having a cape is kind of a huge game changer. It really is. Alright, so, see, like, this part feels like you want to run. Like, this feels like a, hey, run, have fun, gallivant. You don't get to use that word very often. But then the wizard forces you to stop. And it's super awkward, and it's just like, they, they feel like... The wizard and the Tetris rooms are trying to do different things. And I feel like they don't really work well together. I feel like the ideal way to play this, you just never move at all. Like, when do you move? Like, no? Okay? Oh, now's a good time? No, it's not! So, like, this is like... I... this is really unfortunate. Like, whatever. Mr. in celebration here. Like, I don't know, like... Ooh. Layer 2... whoa, what? Hurt locks. Can I, like, despawn one of these? There you go. Very easy to make a guy despawn here. And you know what? It's probably a good thing. Alright. Yeah, it's just, I find it very easy to just touch a hurt sprite, like, before it's fully, like, integrated into the ground. Like, here you just kind of have to go. I just took that hit. And then Mr. Zoom by just zooms on by, looking smug and pretty fly. I feel like when you get a hit, you need to just go. But I want my extra hit, so then I can just lose it here and survive. So yeah, I guess I made my point. Yeah. It's ludicrously easy. Alright. Eh. Those are the sounds you make when you're full of health. Yeah. It's true. I made that up. Alright, so... 
Uh, well, at least I got not dead. So that guy is just real happy to be here, and I, I can't blame him. So the fun don't stop, but almost. Yo! I'm surprised I made it through. Wait, so that one has two? <laughs> okay, okay. So some of them had three, this one had two, but one of them was longer. So I guess it kind of makes sense, and on this half, I only went into this door. So I'll stick to the bottom. Close equivalency! There's a pea switch and a cloud, and a guy that's trying to read the newspaper. What a guy reading the newspaper. As a guy, he reads the paper, and here you're stuck from making some more progress. This is something you just keep seeing to see. I don't even know, like, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, just... Keep the level going. Eh. Uh, I'm surprised that worked. I'm surprised that worked. This place is kind of neat. It's looking pretty unique. Like, look at this room with the red, like, tiles. I don't know, there's something kind of neat about this. Yeah, right? So once again... Oh, you're, uh... You're a keyless Fanto. You know, Mr. Mr. Cool Ghost TM. That one's a bit less cool. <laughs> and now we got a notice scroll. Alright. Whoosh! Well, a phantom with a notice scroll. I don't know. Like... I'm not being pelted by a zillion enemies. This feel. Oh. Oh yeah, that kind of makes a down arrow if you're looking at it. Alright. Are you looking at it? Like, you probably should be looking at your environment while playing this level. Look at that. They're just like, uh, just like, you know, parent and child there, hanging out together. Have the same... Whoa, I just got a power up at the end of the thing. Like, the funny... Oh, I was about to say, the funny thing is I'm gonna encounter, like, this path, and I'm gonna, like, one-shot or something nearly, and I'm going to regret having taken the path that I did take, but I feel it's not gonna be this one. With crazy layer 2, yeah, water. I have memories of this being... Like, and you got those spikes down there, you can't forget those. I wanna... Ugh. Wow, this looks... I mean, it looks super cool. Well, corners aside, maybe? Corner of those water things are... Whoops! Unfortunate. But, hey, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Ew. Whoa, you are extra bouncy. Uh, oh, that worked out. Is there a floor? I mean, there's bouncy guys, so there's probably a floor, but... I can't know that for sure. Oh, jeez, that worked out. That worked out indeed. Uh, classic hammer, bro. This classic hammer moves. Now with duet, and hammers are everywhere. Alright, well, thanks for sharing. Yeah, we go on a comfortable floor with also an agency of bugs and things. Uh, Alright. Okay, no bugs are coming out there. That's fan tap. Okay! Like, it's so cool. But it feels so bad. Oh. Alright. Can I? Like, there's guys down there, so okay. And yeah, I could have gone. Uh, maybe a better power up here, so... Oh, now I know. Shoot. This is super uncomfortable. I kinda hate it. You just kinda have to figure these things out, and uh, it feels okay. Alright, so here, there's spike, spike ceiling here, so you gotta, like... This is surreal. Does this still work somehow? Alright. Hey. 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 Dang it. Hey! Hey, hey, everything is hey. What is ham teeth? We just got stone teeth here. All right. Well, I got stone toothed. <laughs> what? Okay, so you can't just do a full jump, making it easier on you. I don't know observation, like it's more theorem. Oh, it's fine. It's here too. Like I'm just gonna be able to burn them up before you know while they're busy imitating eggs, and then I mess it up royally in a really embarrassing way. This would be different. Alright, so you can't just rush this. No! Floor? Who needs that? 
Okay, well I'm just rushing, obviously. I was like, I only have a fire flower, so I'm just gonna rush it. I don't know. Now that I've had a fire flower, I'm like, no, yeah, I mean, that's a key to long-term success here. Not knowing how long- Why well, it can't be that much longer, because like, that looked very much like a dead end at the end of the tooth tunnel. Ugh, Charlie. I can't believe King Charles Castle can have Charlies in it. What is this? Now I'm curious, like, is this gonna be a two-chamber or a three-chamber one, though? I'm still baffled that they don't have the same amount of doors. You can tell this is a... Like, Jump, I feel like, had it really interesting, especially Yum even more. Where, like, you just have an uneven amount of doors between selections. Like, sometimes that works so much better. But this was early in these kind of projects. You know, still struggling on the basic. And that's totally fine. It's totally understandable. Yeah, I'm not sure what's the intent here. Like, how do you live through this process? Uh, okay, you guys are like way lower than I thought. Oh, wow, that was just out the door. What the hell? Ah, uh, it's the Beware the Physics Room! So you do Nonsense Layer 2, then Nonsense Layer 2. So yeah, um, you jump is I don't know if you, you can probably see it, but like, Demo's just effortlessly jumping like five meters ahead of space-time. Yeah, no, that's, uh, Beware the Physics. Basically, so, you know, when you step on those wing platforms, you make the, the, the background, like, fly. Well, what if you could stand on that background, which is what's happening right now? Beware the physics! Yeah! ASMT! Whoops, I jumped too early, but I... I ran away with it, and here we go. Wow, that went super well. But, no, yeah, so... I don't know. Like, honestly, I feel like this would have been easier to go through as the path to take. At least in the second half. Because I think I died a lot less at that layer room than I did at, at, at the ghost and bomb room, did I? I kind of forgot. I don't know, this was really fun. I'm gonna stop now though, because every door is a potential one more level, so... Might be a shorter one, I don't particularly mind. This was a cleanup A, alternate reality of Demo wandering through the woods. Uh, welcome to the ketchup factory. Bring your spoons.